Hello, back by popular demand. I'm here to extend a previous episode where I showed you how you can use uh, movie colors in your color palette. So we went through a Wes Anderson color palette, and today we're going to look at a couple other examples. So there are predetermined and pre-made color palettes with hexadecimal codes that might be readily available. But what happens when you look for that and it's not there? How do you find your favorite movie, favorite piece of art, and an image of it, and then transfer that into a color code for you to use for your graphs in R? Well, what we're looking at here in front of us right now is that classic lo-fi hip-hop girl that you might be familiar with as a popular 24-7 um, hip hop beats lo fi channel on YouTube. So these are the common colors found in there, and I'm going to go through that today. So what we're looking at is microbial biomass, carbon, and treatment. And I'm going to discuss how we can choose these colors that you see in front of you. So you want to have ggplot2 loaded, and we want to have a custom color palette made for us. So I title it CV Palette and then you need to make a list. So where, do, where did I get these colors? Where did I get these hexadecimal codes? Let me show you. There's a site that I will link below called Image Color Picker. I downloaded this uh, image and you can see they make some predetermined uh, palettes based on the themes of the picture. Up here on the right, you have the hex hexadecimal code and you also have the RGB code below it. We're just using the hexadecimal code. If you don't see in this palette a color that you want to portray in your data, you can hover over any part of the picture. And you can see that it's uh, finding that. You can click on it, and there we go. We have that hexadecimal code for her green sweater. We have the hexadecimal code for her brown, reddish hair. We have the color of her cat and so on and so forth. And then what we can do then is take these hexadecimal codes, highlight them, copy and paste into our color palette. So I've done that here. And we're going to load it. We're making a box plot, looking at microbial biomass carbon, and I want each box plot to have one of four different colors. Scale fill manual is what you're gonna use at the end of your GG plot, and you're gonna set the values equal to CB palette. Therefore, it's calling upon the custom colors and hexadecimal codes that you want from whatever image that you chose to use. And there we have it for the first example. So that's just a common image. Let's do another one in real time. We're going to copy and paste this. So we have the ggplot below. We're going to make a new CV palette. You know what we're going to do? We're going to use Van Gogh's Starry Night as an example. So let's go to Starry Night. I've already preloaded it. And I'm not going to click on any new ones. I'm just going to show you how we can copy and paste over four of the colors in the palette. Copy, paste. So we got a nice blue. Yeah, let's do the black one. Into the quote, you need to make sure they're in quotations. Um, let's do this nice, looks like a teal, a gray, a gray green. And this is such an iconic photo. Easy on the eyes. Almost make that, I almost feel like that makes it a, uh, easy on the eyes if you were to put it in your data. So you get these four, you can do more than four. I have a different example where I needed 20. We're gonna load that in CV palette. Now, if you have multiple custom color palettes, palettes that you wanna use, maybe you wanna add CV palette two, three, or just make sure you can understand that this one is different from the one we just did before. But for the sake of this video, we're gonna keep it the same. So that way, I just leave it as is in the GG plot. Put that in. And there they are in order blue, black, gray, slash teal, and an orange. If we go up one, 
reload the lo-fi hip-hop girl CV palette and her hair color, the lamp color, her sweater color, her cat color. There they are. And one more time. It's that easy, everybody. Find your colors. Load a picture into image color picker. And you don't even have to sign up. They give you the hex codes, copy and paste them in. You can have some really eye appealing figures with the colors that you prefer. All right. I'll also put these hex decimal codes that I use below for both uh, Starry Night and the Lo-Fi Girl in the description, as well as this website. So if you want to do that or use what I've already used, there they are for you. And if you want me to find anything specific and make a color palette, just let me know in the comments. All right. Thank you.